Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Tony's Phone Collection. Today we're going to do an unboxing of these phones I ordered on eBay. I think two of them are Razors. There's a Samsung Instinct and I don't remember, I think that was it. So um, I'm about to go work on a car so I'm going to get this done real quick and then go get to work on that. So I figured I'd make this video real quick. Now I can get it uploaded while I'm outside. Alrighty. So here it is. Let's go and take a look. These things are cold. It's really cold outside. So uh, I really ordered these ones for the keypads, and the bodies look really clean on these. And it doesn't feel like it's the cheap uh, aftermarket one that the other silver one was that I bought. So that's nice to know. They feel a lot better built. A nice keypad on it. And here's another silver one with a black keypad. This one looks a little cheaper. It doesn't have the Motorola branding up here. As you can see, the fitment on the back screen piece is terrible. And you see my finger can catch it, so it's really shuffled over to the side. So this one's not so uh, good, but we got a good keypad at least. Um, looks like the back was taped on because these things, yeah, see it's cheap when the back things are coming off again. But that's not a big deal. There's a dent in the cover. But yeah, so this one probably going to take for parts. Probably going to take the uh, keypad out and put it in one of my other phones. And then we'll have a good screen and stuff like that for the next one. I did end up putting together a uh, auto last parts phone, the one that we drop tested. I took the camera lens off of it and replaced it. And uh, it's a little beat up, but at least these parts are OEM compared to the cheap aftermarket ones that were on here. So it actually looks really good. And then that cheap aftermarket one I just have for parts. So we'll see what carrier these ones are. Let's grab a... Uh, a razor battery since we got a whole bunch of razors up here. These were five bucks. All right, boots up with open these. So you charge the battery. See, once again, it's kind of running that weird uh, Motorola software. It's not really telling you a whole bunch. Um, Star 228. Let's see. Look, it's not doing anything. There we go. says Verizon Wireless. So there's that one. Let's go ahead and try the silver one. Oops. I say that one's not, we might even drop test that one truthfully. Here is the seller I ordered these from. Bought a lot of phones from him. Um, they're about five bucks a piece usually. Um, this one is untested. Or it turned on and everything, but the uh, it wasn't responsive. The BlackBerry over here is untested. There's a Samsung M800. This reminds me a lot of the um, Altel's Devel. I mean, it looks identical. I wish I had one right here. Let me go grab one real quick. Not exactly sure where I put them at actually. Let's see if I can find it though, because it'd be kind of cool to compare them because they look identical. Let me let them pause the video. Actually, I'll go and let that boot up. Here's one. I got the one that's in worse shape, but 
Here's this one, like I said, running that really weird software. I'm gonna take the battery out of it. Like I said, we might even drop test this one, take a couple things off it and drop test it. We're not sure yet. But I mean, as you can see, it doesn't fit together very well. There we go. But yeah, not very good. This one, on the other hand, is pretty good shape. Feels a little bit <clears throat> better quality. You can see the back cover is actually a different color than the rest of the phone, but <coughs> that's kind of uh, happens when you get cheaper. Oh, uh, well, I guess it's got the original Motorola stamp code in it, so maybe it's maybe the cover is original and the, the back piece is different. Um, I was going to take a look at this Samsung. Yeah, no, my nails are pretty nasty, guys. I said I'm about to go work on a car, so I haven't taken my shower yet. So I just see the screen is unresponsive. It's just a bad digitizer. So. These are known to go bad. Uh, here it is compared to a Devel. Well, I said they're pretty much identical phones, truthfully. They both have the same 2 megapixel camera, it looks like. I wonder if the back covers are interchanged. Look at there. The back covers are interchangeable. That's how close these phones are together. So, there's that one. I'm not going to do an update because I'm kind of just doing the update right now. So, uh, and then here is a Blackberry Torch. Um... I already have a black one as you guys know, but I wanted to see what the white one looks like. And actually, I really like the white one, guys. It looks really nice. I can see it's got the white and chrome. Very nice looking. I'm not going to test this one. I'm pretty sure it works. If not, well, um, I might have some parts off another one that we drop tested. We could test out. Buns aren't very clicky. So I guess we could. Uh, Always try to take the buttons off this other black one that we've drop tested. Well, I guess they're not very clicky either. Yeah, I guess here's a, a close comparison to the black one. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And here is a little unboxing video of these four phones. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next one.